declaration of a local state of emergency that will allow us to continue to prepare for Matthew's arrival and to be ready to respond um, and potentially recover afterwards. So I'm going to run through a briefing real quick, a PowerPoint presentation. It is the same briefing that um, has been given this morning at the EOC at our all-hands briefing. So I'll run through that. Um, this morning we activated the EOC at um, 8, 8 o'clock this morning for a full level one activation. It started with an all-hands briefing. Again, that's being conducted by Acting Emergency Management Chief Sherilyn Burris. Um, we activated the Citizens Information Center late yesterday to start fielding some calls from the public who had some questions about issues like sandbags and evacuation routes. So, in a nutshell, over the last 24 hours or so, Hurricane Matthew has slowly creeped westward, um, which obviously increases the likelihood of some severe weather here in Manatee County. And so we've been watching and monitoring. Um, as I mentioned, late last night, we stepped up our efforts as it continues to track west. And as it speeds up, it had been just moving at about six miles an hour. As of right now, it's moving at about 12 miles an hour. So it's starting to cut into the timeline we have for preparations and be ready for its arrival. Um,